so I've been going all night, got my way to Highline Trail, got up on top, started getting dark, and you're making your way. Then uh, pretty windy up there, and I've been going, you know, I don't know, 30 hours no sleep, 30, I, I don't even remember. But it was Apache Junction by Bosch's when I last slept the, the day before. So we yeah, had gone that's through... so far away. Yeah, <laughs> it is. If you look at the map, it's a long ways yeah. away. So now I'm up by Blue Ridge Reservoir, and, and, and you know it's that lava, chunky rock. It's dark. There's no moonlight, and the wind's blowing, and I start hearing a uh, symphony music. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. Someone's playing music, maybe. I don't know. And then I hear voices talking, like they were out. They were like in the trees, in like the treetops, the... talking down at me. Whoa! And then the symphony music was playing, and there's they're like voices like um not high pitch but like very really low i don't know what the what the right word is but yeah more were like, they like whispering no more like booming voices okay like very loud i don't know what they were saying i don't remember um and and i'm going down this nasty single track with all that baby head rocks and i'm hearing the music i'm the symphony music symphony music of all music yeah hearing, a symphony's playing yeah and then the voices and then and then you realized your iPad was, or your iPod was playing, just kidding. No. <laughs> in the background. Can you imagine? Yeah. You think you're hearing things and it's actually your phone's on? Yeah, your phone just, <laughs> so, no, you're having audible I, hallucinations. So yeah. before that, I had, I had to, uh, call Dan and see if it got back to fine. Okay. I had a cell, a cell service. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm at the, this little hotel here. I'm drinking a beer at the bar. Karen's on her way to come get me from Rico. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm jealous. I said, dude, it's scary. It's dark out here. It's pitch black. It's the, you know, this is the pine trees. The bark is black. It's just dark. A little eerie. Thing. No moonlight. Yeah. And that's when it's kind of still coherent. And then the symphony music and the, the voices came shortly after that. Um, and I was bouncing down this single track. And it was, I was like, I, I better probably lay down. I'm getting a little loopy. Yeah. And it's getting a little dangerous. Did and, you have any visual stuff? Or were you no, still pretty good? There? Not that time. Yeah. The, the, the next time I did. Next time. Okay. Uh, so I got to the Blue Ridge uh, campground. And it's closed for the winter. It's April. And I was really, it was windy and cold. It was probably, I don't know, one o'clock at night. So I hadn't slept since Apache Junction the day and a half before yeah. or whenever it was. I couldn't even remember. I'd have to go back and look at my tracker and see exactly the timestamps. Totally. Um, yeah, totally. Time gets like so screwed up. It does, yeah. And like when I did some sleep deprivation, it was like I lost like entire days. I had to go back and watch my GoPro footage to remember, to remember what? a bunch of stuff that happened. Because yeah. it yeah. just kind of like deleted from my memory yeah no more room like, in there and it yeah. never and even when i rewatched it back it was like someone else doing it yeah it was like it never happened yeah. like it wasn't you it was so bizarre and yeah. time just got completely out of like like because I, I think i w once you start like seeing the sunrise and set a couple times in a row without sleeping that's what really gets me because mm. oh, yeah. it just confuses me like my yeah. circadian cycle you know yeah just start getting confused oh, so, yeah yeah so i got i <laughs> yeah. like I, I made a good choice and i had bought some apple fritters at the pine market so i remember getting to the bathrooms i tried to get in the bathroom it was locked it was locked i used my knife and tried to get the lock open yeah so i just laid down a little the little concrete apron in front of the door yeah i just laid right there out of the wind laying on my side texting my brother i'm like stopping at the ponderosa market in pine is that what you're talking about yeah 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 they got a great bakery yeah so i stacked up uh stockpiled a bunch of fritters and i was laying there on my side and I, uh, one thing i always do is try and if you lay down for any amount of time, even if it's only an hour or a few yeah. hours, eat. That way your body's recovering while you're laying there. Right. You might feel like, you know, dog crap, but eat. So I remember just stuffing down a couple of fritters while I'm laying there and just ate some fritters and text my brother's like, I'm eating fritters. I'm going to lay down for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, cool. Um, and so that that wasn't that bad of hallucinating. It was just it was more the, the audible. Yeah. Were the you vision. like, were you like, did you realize what was happening? Did you know that yeah. you, you knew you were hallucinating? I, yeah, I knew I better just lay down. It was getting dangerous. I was getting loopy, hearing the, the music, yeah. the voices. Um, I was like, I, I better lay down for a bit. Right. I've been this going, is my cue. I've been yeah. going for a long yeah. time and got my get my butt pretty whooped on that whole Highline Trail. And, right. and just getting over to Blue Ridge. 